Hello, my name is Tom Harrod, and I'm the Associate Director for Reference, Instruction, and Access at the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. In this brief video, we will be taking a tour of the Himmelfarb website. Here's an outline of what we'll be covering. Using the library's online catalog to locate books, both print and electronic. Finding journal articles. Accessing library resources off campus. Using our research guides. And finally, getting help from the library. The address for the library website is himmelfarb.gwu.edu. At the top of the page, I can see the search bar for the catalog. I'm going to enter my search topic, nursing research methods, and click here to see what books we have. On the results page, I can see a list of resources which meet my search criteria. The first of these is an electronic book, and if I click here, I'll be brought to the record for this book. And here I can see a link which will bring me to the full text for this book. Now, back on the results page, if I scroll down a little, I can see this book. If I click on this record, I can see that this is a print book in the Himmelfarb collection. Here is the location, book stacks, and here is the call number. If I wanted to retrieve this book, I would jot down this call number, which will allow me to locate the volume within the book stacks in the library. Returning to the library's main page, on the left, I can see a box titled Popular Resources. Here are many of the most commonly used databases, journals, and other resources in our collection. I next want to look for a few journal articles, so I will go to a database called PubMed. In PubMed, I can enter my search topic in the main bar here. For this search, I will be looking for articles covering diabetes and the drug metformin. Let's look at this article. On the subsequent page, I can see some options for how to access the article in the upper right. There is a Find It at Himmelfar button, as well as one for the journal's publisher. If I click on the link for the publisher, I should be brought to a page which allows me to access the full text of the article. It's important to note that these links work if I'm using a computer on campus or, if I'm off campus, I can use GW's VPN to get access. I will talk more about the VPN later in this video. Some records, like this one, only have the Find It at Himmelfar button. If I click on this button, I will come to a page which looks like this indicating that this article is from a journal which the library does not subscribe to. However, it is still possible to get access to this article by clicking here. This will bring me to the login page for the library's interlibrary loan service called Documents to Go. Using my GW user ID and password, I can log in and submit a request for an electronic version of this article. The first 15 requests per semester are free, and the turnaround time is typically only a few business days. Now, back on the Himmelfarb Library's main web page, I want to discuss the VPN or Virtual Private Network, which allows users to access Himmelfarb Library materials when they are off campus. I will first click on the Services drop-down menu at the top of the page and then go to Off Campus Access. Here I can see the directions for downloading and using the VPN client called Cisco AnyConnect. Once I've successfully downloaded Cisco AnyConnect, I will open the program on my computer and log in using my GW user ID and password. After signing into the VPN, I will be able to easily access Himmelfarb resources off campus. I can also click on this tab to learn more about the GW VPN. Now I want to show you how to access research guides which cover a wide range of topics. In this search bar, I will type APA to look for any research guides maintained by the library which cover the topic of formatting in the APA citation style. I will click on this link, and I'm brought to the APA guide. The library has a wide range of other guides covering citation styles, department or school specific resources, and a lot more. I now want to discuss how users can get assistance from the library. First, you will notice the slide out box, which links to a chat service that is staffed Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. If I scroll down a little farther, 
Here are phone numbers to reach either the circulation or reference desk at the library, as well as an email address for patrons to use in order to request assistance from a librarian. Please feel free to reach out. We look forward to assisting you with your research and educational needs. In this video, we took a brief tour of the Himmelfarb Library website. We saw how to use the library catalog to locate print and electronic books. Then we used the PubMed database to identify journal articles and to see how they could be accessed, specifically looking at direct links for articles in journals to which the library subscribes, as well as using the interlibrary loan service, Documents to Go, to request articles from journals which the library doesn't subscribe to. After that, we looked at ways of getting off-campus access to the Himmelfarb collection, specifically through the use of the VPN. Then we looked at research guides, and finally, how to get assistance from the Himmelfarb library by chat, phone, and email.